Hi folks, Smash from High on Android.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna go ahead and root the brand new Nexus 7 that just came out um, just now, uh, and I did unbox it yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and root it and install Twerp Recovery and also unlock the bootloader. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this, baby. Ugh. So let's go ahead and root this bad boy. Um, so first, make sure you do have a new Nexus 7. You should have a back camera. Uh, if you don't have a back camera, you probably most likely have a original Nexus 7, uh, which is this other one here. If you have this one with the mesh finish, go to my site, nexusroot.com. I have a full tutorial guide on rooting the original Nexus 7. Now, you do have the new Nexus 7. Um, let me kind of explain how the rooting works. Once, when you unlock the bootloader, um, you have to unlock the bootloader so you can install a uh, custom recovery, uh, which will allow you to flash um, Super SU, which will actually give you root. Now, unlocking the bootloader it will erase everything on your Nexus 7 and also will erase you know, your settings, your apps, everything. So go ahead and connect it to your computer right now and copy over all your personal photos and videos. Um, you, know, you can copy that to your computer and copy it back to your Nexus 7 when you're done. So go ahead and do that first. There is a way to uh, also save your apps and uh, app data. Um, I have a method on that. Um, over at nexus4root.com which I use for Nexus 4 uh, but I'm not going to show you because sometimes it kind of breaks it's not it's still a uh, experimental feature so I don't actually recommend it that much anymore um, so we're gonna go ahead unlock the bootloader uh, we're gonna go ahead and install a uh, twerp recovery uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, flash the super su zip file which will actually give us um, root on the Nexus 7 so go ahead and uh, power off your Nexus 7, all right? And it is advisable to root your ne new Nexus 7 as soon as you get it. Um, that way, you know, you're going to lose everything, so you might as well root it. You know, if you're going to ever root it, go ahead and root it in the beginning. Um, so go ahead and hit the volume down and the power button together. Volume down here and then the power button and hold them down together until you see uh, this here. Let go of both buttons. This is called the bootloader, um, where you can go to the recovery mode, reboot, and a bunch of stuff. And it will say locked. That's, uh, that means the bootloader is locked. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, unlock that. So go ahead and plug in um, a USB cable to your computer and I will first show you using Windows computer. Um, you can also do this on Mac or Linux. I'll have uh, another vi video tutorial for Mac and Linux. So check my site. It's probably there up, uh, up there by now already. So let's go ahead and go to our computer and unlock the bootloader. Next, you will need to download new Nexus 7 root.zip. Uh, if you unzip the files, you'll probably get a folder called new Nexus 7 root uh, with all the files you need. Uh, this is the ADB and fastboot files. You do not need to download the Android SDK. I only just pull the stuff you need. Um, you know, downloading the SDK can take like 20, 30 minutes. So we'll skip all that, make it easy on you. And also I've got the USB drivers here for Windows. Um, so once you have this downloaded, and also you'll also need uh, this file called um, Super SU. Uh, where is it? Super SU JWR 66N blah blah uh, dot zip. This is the actual Super SU zip file I was talking about. You'll need this file also. So go ahead and grab those two files and uh, go ahead and download it and also unzip only the new Nexus 7 root dot zip, uh, which you'll get a folder uh, called new Nexus 7 root with all the files you need. Once you have done that, uh, let's go ahead and actually open up. Uh, the device manager to make sure you have drivers installed. So go ahead and go click on control panel on your Windows. And I do recommend Windows 7, by the way. Uh, go to hardware and sound, go to device manager. And uh, once in device manager, um, if you don't have the drivers installed, uh, most of you probably don't because you just got your new Nexus 7. 
Um, you'll get this thing called Android uh, with exclamation mark. Go ahead and double click it. Click on update driver and then go to browse my computer uh, and then pick, let me pick from a list of device drivers and just click on show all devices, hit next and click on have disk, all right? And hit, oh, oops, hit browse and go ahead and uh, browse to the new Nexus 7 root directory that you un just unzipped. Um, and go ahead and go in there and go ahead and double click on USB driver folder and go ahead and click on Android underscore USB dot inf and open and hit OK and this will allow you to uh, install the drivers for the next seven so go ahead and click on Android ADB interface hit next say yes and close close and you should have something called Android ADB interface so you have that you're ready to go um, go ahead and close everything out and next you're gonna go ahead and open up a, a command prompt go to start uh, type CMD in the start uh, bar there search bar there and you'll get this uh, command prompt we're gonna go ahead and browse into this directory uh, new Nexus 7 root now it will be under your username and the command prompt usually uh, defaults to your user directory which is under users max so we only have to use a CD command to go to downloads and then to new Nexus 7 root or wherever you unzip the files so I'm going to go ahead and type CD space downloads enter and then this will enter me into the downloads directory I'm going to go ahead and type CD space new Nexus 7 root hit enter uh, now I'll be in the new Nexus 7 root directory CD command basically allows you to change directories um, CD it stands for change directories so once you're here um, you're gonna go ahead and type uh, fastboot space OEM space unlock now like I told you doing this will erase everything on your Nexus 7 alright you're gonna have to start over uh, for your personal photos and videos any contents in your Nexus 7 storage you can go ahead and connect it to your computer before you do this and copy over to your computer so you don't lose them um, I hope you did that so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and this will bring up a screen now on the Nexus 7 the new Nexus 7 go ahead and uh, click yes there using the volume key and hit the power button alright and it will erase everything but it will unlock your bootloader and that's how you unlock your bootloader actually this is the same for all the Nexus devices this is how you do it um, it's the same files you can use to unlock uh, any bootloader so that is done and go ahead and hit the power button uh, and this will reboot your phone and it'll say unlocked so you've unlocked your bootloader um, go ahead and start all right let it boot once and I will be back all right uh, my Nexus 7 has rebooted go ahead and start and uh, go ahead and sign in real quick all right I'll be back I'm gonna go ahead and sign in all right once signed in or just you know what you went through the setups process you don't actually have to sign into Google services or anything go ahead and connect it back to your computer uh, using a USB cable and we're gonna go ahead and copy a file that we downloaded earlier uh, which is the super su blah blah dot zip whoops where to go? Uh, there we go. Super SU, this file here, blah blah 14.1.zip. Go ahead and copy the file you downloaded earlier and go to your Nexus 7 down here and paste it anywhere here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Um, this is the actual rooting file. It's only like, let me see here, it's only like one megabyte. You might as well just leave it on there because you might need it. Anytime you lose root, on a custom ROM you can also use this and just flash it in recovery so when that's done uh, we're gonna go ahead and put it back into fast boot mode um, so go ahead and take the USB cable out and power off your Nexus 7 alright and we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it into fast boot mode again or the bootloader uh, same thing and we're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down and the power when it is off so I'm gonna go ahead and hold down volume down and the power not volume up please alright there we go and once you're here in the bootloader menus um, go ahead and connect a micro USB cable alright 
And you should be all good to go. Go back to the command prompt here. All right. And we're going to go ahead and flash uh, the twerp recovery. So where you're going to type is fastboot space uh, flash space recovery space um, open recovery blah blah dot zip uh, IMG. What you can do is here just type open and hit the tab button. You know the tab button on your keyboard? The, uh, the tab button here. If you click that, it's going to fill in the rest for you. Um, that's how I can type really fast. All right, go ahead and type that. And this will flash the recovery. Um, so now you have a, a custom recovery. Next, also type fastboot space erase space cache. Um, this will erase the temporary files and make sure you boot into Torp Recovery. Sometimes if you don't do that, um, it will just reboot instead of going into Torp Recovery. So go ahead and type that. All right, and let me go ahead and change the camera angle real quick. All right, in the next step, we don't need the USB cable anymore. Um, go ahead and take it out. And then we're going to go ahead and try to boot into Torp Recovery we just flashed. So go ahead and use the volume keys. Um, go to recovery mode, as you can see there and go hit the power button. And this should boot you into twerp recovery. And give it a second here. And there we go. So I'm in twerp recovery. Uh, what twerp recovery is, basically you can back up your ROM, restore ROM, install new custom ROMs. It is a tool you will need once rooted and you wanna install custom ROMs and all that good stuff. Uh, for installing ROMs, zip files, any kind of zip file that can be flashed onto this uh, Nexus 7, the new Nexus 7, you can go ahead and hit install and find the file. That's it. So we're going to go ahead and hit install. We're going to go ahead and find that file, super su blah blah dot zip. This will give us root. And uh, double check is the same file name and swipe. And that will give us root. And that's pretty much it. Uh, reboot system now. And you should have a fully rooted new Nexus 7 uh, with also Twerp Recovery installed, which will allow you to uh, back up, restore, and also install new custom ROMs. Now, the first thing I recommend you to do is uh, reboot back into Twerp and make a backup ROM. What that will do is if you install custom ROMs uh, and something goes wrong, you can always hit that restore button in Twerp and get your Nexus 7 completely back to however you backed it up. It'll save your settings, apps, app data. It's not going to save any contents in your internal storage, such as photos and videos, because that backup could be like too large. Um, but it will save all of your um, you know settings and apps and uh, the whole ROM. And also, if you don't want to take up too much space, um, Twerp supports uh, OTG cable, so you can go ahead and uh, use this and save it, save your backup ROM to your flash drive. Anyway, I'll have another video. Oh, well, you know what? I don't need another video. I have a video on it, I, on it, I think, already. I'm not sure on using Twerp. So I'll give it a second here for my new Nexus 7 to boot. And it should now have a full super user access. And I'll be back shortly. All right, for some reason, I ended up in a boot loop uh, when I did it. So a way to solve this is uh, reboot into recovery and uh, do a factory reset. If you end up in a boot loop, go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button. All right, I was in a boot loop. I just fixed it. But if you do end up in a boot loop, go ahead and hold down volume down and the power button. Hold it down until your Nexus 7 reboots into the bootloader menu. All right, there we go. And let the buttons go and go ahead and go to recovery mode, hit the power button. And what we're gonna do is a factory reset. This will reset uh, everything except for your storage. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and reset it real quick. So go ahead and go to wipe, factory reset, swipe to factory reset. And when that's done, go back home and install the super blah blah uh, zip file again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the super su rooting files again and go ahead and reboot uh, your new Nexus 7. And this will uh, give you full root, and uh, you, might ha you might have to go through the setup process again, but you should now have a fully rooted um, new Nexus 7. And I'll be back shortly when this is done.
All right, I finally rebooted. I'll have to go through the setup process again. I'll be back after signing in real quick. All right, I've signed in, and uh, if you go to your app drawer now, you should have Super SU down here. And there we go. You have fully rooted on uh, new Nexus 7. Now, if you want to verify you have full root, you can go ahead and download Titanium Backup. Oops, Titanium Backup, uh, which is a rooted app or any rooted apps and go ahead and open it and it will pop up a super user request window which means you're fully rooted oh sorry let me go ahead and download the regular version that was just a key uh, go ahead and download it and let's go ahead and open and this should give you full root let's go ahead and do this open oops open and boom shakalaka so you got full user request there uh, there you go. Make sure you hit grant and you have full roots for your new Nexus 7. Um, yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. Oh, yeah. And thanks you guys for watching this video. As always, if this video has helped you root uh, your brand new Nexus 7, the new Nexus 7, don't forget to hit that like button for me here, subscribe button down there, and share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, stay on Android.